friends, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's cold, so I'm dressed in warmer clothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to yet another Wheel of TBR. This is going to be our Wheel of TBR for January, first one of the year, and I'm really hoping that the wheel decides to be good to me. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This video, by the way, is sponsored by viewers like you. So a great big shout out to my Patreon for supporting this channel. Uh, I am very grateful for all the continued love and support that I get from you all. It helps me to continue to put out videos like this. Um, if you're interested in joining Patreon, um, you can check out the link that's in my description box. Um, and I do have two tiers that are available. And yeah, I have a lot of plans for 2023. So you definitely would want to check that out if you would like to find out what those are, but there is no obligation to do so. Um, I also have a lot of plans for the channel. So either way, either way, subscribe, like, join the Patreon. It all supports the channel and I am um, very grateful for that. Thank you. Um, so before we jump in to this, um, I want to go ahead and revisit the TBR for January to tell you what I read, what I didn't read. I'm not going to go into the books. Um, if you want to know my thoughts on them, I did do a reading vlog, um, which will be going up soon. You can check those out. Um, but I had... Uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight books for December. And out of the, those eight books, I did not read two of them. So I did not read They're Watching You by Chelsea H. Also, that was for the Net Galley shelf prompt. Um, but I am rolling that over into January because I do need to read that. It does get released in January. So that I am rolling over, and I'm not going to take a penalty for that. Um, Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo, I did not read, uh, and I will be taking a penalty for that. So instead of five spins, I'm going to do six. I'm going to put that back on the shelf. And then, um, oh, that was for the Royals prompt. And then the Patreon a group read um which this was not part of wheel of tbr but the patreon group read was house of sky and breath i did rate i uh, did read this one rated it two stars um and then i read uh lord of the flight fest which was for um a something pick i can't read my own handwriting Hmm. I can't read my own handwriting, but, oh, this is, oh, that's because I abbreviated Once Upon a Book Club book pick. I read this one and uh, rated it three stars. Um, and then, and that was also not uh, part of the Wheel of TBR, by the way. But for Wheel of TBR, for a new release, I read The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew, rated it two stars. Um, for three word title, I read The Bolton Orchard by Sarah A. Muir, rated it two stars. Uh, for different country, I read The Book Eaters by Sammy Dean and rated this one four stars. Um, and then my only five star read for December was Flash Fire by TJ Klune. This is the second book in the Extraordinaries trilogy. And then the final book that I finished, um, I didn't actually finish it until January 1st. Um, it was an advanced reader copy uh, called The Drift by CJ Tudor and I rated that three stars. But that's gonna go towards my completed books in January because technically I did not finish it until the first. All right, all of that said, I have the, the books piled over there out of the way. <sighs> okay, 
before I jump into this part, I know this is the part you guys want to see. Um, let me go over my required reading for December. I do have for Patreon, our group read is going to be When Gracie Met the Grump by Mariana Zapata. Uh, I love Mariana Zapata, so I'm anticipating to really love this book as well. Um, it's, I believe, like a slow burn romance like her other books. Um, so if you want to participate in that group read, again, the link to the Patreon is in the description box. Um, and then... I also have a buddy read. I actually have a couple of buddy reads. Uh, I have a buddy read with my bestie and I have a buddy read with Johanna. Uh, but the book for my buddy read with my bestie is part of my book of the month picks for January. So we're going to be starting that one later on this month. And I believe um, we're going to read, what was it called? Sorry about that. It's called What Lies in the Woods by Kate Ellis Marshall. I don't have the book yet. I'll probably get it sometime in mid-January. But that's the book I'm buddy reading with Bestie. The book I'm buddy reading with Johanna is The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. And I got this from my sister Julie as a Christmas present. Um, so... I'm really looking forward to this one. I believe it's the first book that was ever published by Schwab, as well as it's a YA fantasy. Um, it has to do with magic, has to do with figuring out where you fit in the world, which are very common themes in Schwab's books. So yeah, looking forward to this one. And then I have two year-long reading challenges I'm participating in. Buzz Wordathon, um, which is hosted by Books and Lala, as well as the year-long challenge that I'm doing with my Patreons called Read Your Shit. So for the prompts for Read Your Shit uh, for January, one is to read a new release book, and then the other, I believe, is to... I'm going to double check myself. Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. Backtrack. One is to start a new series and then the other is to read a book by a new to you author or a debut debut novel. Um, so for to read a book to start a new series, I'm going to be reading Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I meant to read this in December. It didn't happen. Um, and that is the first book in a duology, I believe. And then to read a book by a new to me author, I have The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. This is going to also serve as the prompt for Buzzword uh, read a, uh, reading challenge, which is, I believe, to read a book with life or death or something like that in the title. There we go. Um, so those are my required readings. That's five books already in my TBR for January. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready to spin the wheel? I'm not, but let's just do it. Oh, also, if I land on a board that has four marks on it already, um, so anytime there's five marks to a tile, I have to add a spin to my spins and to keep track of my spins let me just mark them down because I always forget okay let's go pick two. Oh my god why all right so this is where you're gonna help me out uh Link to my, um, you know what? No, am I going to do it on Patreon? No. Let's just do it here. In the comments, let me know. I'm going to show you two books, and you tell me which one I should read. Whichever one gets the most votes is the book I'm adding to my TBR. So I'm not going to know until you tell me. Uh, so let me pick two books, and uh, I will be right back, okay? 
All right. Okay. A little nervous about this one. All right. So, first book is Cafe con Lichi, and this is by Emery Lee. Um, and this, uh, I think is a YA contemporary. Oh no, N.A. because they're college-A students. Okay, so there's Theo Mori, um, who is leaving Vermont for college. Oh no, actually I think they're in high school. Maybe going, getting ready to leave for college. Um, but he wants to get away from working at his parents' Asian American cafe. And there's Gabby Moreno who is kind of still in the closet and he, um, in order to hide his sexuality, plays soccer instead of, you know, dancing. And he also has a family who has a bakery, but their bakery is a Puerto Rican bakery. Interesting. Both types of bakeries that I love. I have a feeling this book's going to make me hungry. So I'm assuming that there's like some kind of romance be between the two, like a hate to love type of situation because the two families are rivalries. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to look at because I, yeah, Cafe Con Lichi. Um, and now I want this drink at one of the uh, pho places that I go to to make this drink with lychee and Sprite. Is it leech or it might be salted plum? Um, it's really good. Anyway, contemporary YA or A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay, which is a horror novel. I don't know a whole lot about it other than there's a character in here that could possibly be suffering from mental illness or maybe they're possessed. I don't know. That's about all I needed to know in order to pick it up. Um, so horror, YA contemporary, you tell me which one I should go for. All right, I'm going to set those aside. Okay. Did I mark it? I didn't mark it. Here we go. Pick two, mark it. Kick it off. And pick another one. A light cover so either a cover with the word light on it or a light color schemed color very much so open to interpretation there all right spinning again oh wait hold on now spinning again witchy you know what for that I'm going to use the near witch Look at me. Ha ha, yay. Found a way to fit it in. Okay. So, mark the tile. Pick a new one. That's two spins so far. Oh. Multiple authors. Here we go again. That was close. <laughs> okay, so historical fiction. I have quite a few historical fictions in here, um, but I believe one of the books that I'm reading already is set in the past. So let me double check The Death of Jane Lawrence. This one is set in the past, so we're going to use this as historical fiction, although technically it's on the horror side, but it's set in the past, so it counts. Look at me! Yay! So far still only at, at possibly six books? I'm getting too confident. I am getting too confident. I need, I need to slow my roll. All right. 
chicken prompts. Trying to dig at the ones in the bottom. An intimidating book. Ah, oh, I hate that one. No. Okay. And I marked it. Okay. Did I mark it? Yeah, I marked it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so odds means that the book has to end in an odd number, but it also means that we're at five marks on this tile. Therefore, we now have seven spins instead of six. So, let's just... Mark that as the fourth spin. Also, when it is a um, penalty, I'm not going to mark the thing. Let me just... I know it's dry erase, but it's been sitting there for a while, so... Man, talk about having to put some muscle into it. Okay. All right. Odds. To strange the dreamer <laughs> and then an odd number. Does it? I'm going to bet no. Dang it. No. Okay. I will be right back. Sorry if the lighting changed. Um, it's kind of intermittent clouds going on here. So I found one of my book of the month picks. This one's from November. It's called White Horse by Erica T. Worth. It ends on page 305. So therefore it fits odds. Um, and don't know much more about this other than it's a horror novel something to do with hauntings or something like that um i'll let you know more when i read it i try to go into my books about as blind as possible but yeah that fit the odds prompt oh i need to pick a new one favorite trope. Yay. I have a couple of those. All right. Okay. And here we go again. Portal Fantasy. I just read one of those. Wasn't a huge fan. Okay. Of the book, not the genre. Portal fantasy. Um. Hmm. I keep trying to figure out a way to fit Strange the Dreamer in it. I don't think this counts as one. All right, so be right back while I try to find one. Okay, so the prompt was Portal Fantasy, and for that I have selected the girl who circumvented or circumnavigated, sorry, Fairyland in a ship of her own making by Catherine M. Valente. I don't know much about this other than like it's a middle grade fantasy. Um, it's really loved here on booktube and it's a series I've yet to, you know, dip my toes into. So I want to read it. So that's going to fit that prompt. Okay, I think we're on spin number six, but before we do that, um, I marked it, but I didn't, I didn't uh, select a prompt. Now oh, they're stuck. 
emoji generator. Oh, that one's fun. Okay. Um, let's go. That was close. Did you see that? That that was really close. That's scary. Okay, that was spin number six. A uh, standalone. Um, okay. I have some. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Let me try to think of what I'm going to read. But in the meantime, let me mark it and pick the prompt while I'm thinking. Uh, face on the cover. Okay. Let me mark it. All right, a standalone. I know I have some on my shelves. I think, I think we'll go with Catherine House, which is Dark Academia, right? At Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. This was a book I meant to read last year. Didn't get around to it. I hear a lot of good things about it. And um, let's see. It just says a gothic infused debut of literary suspense set within a secluded elite university and following a dangerously curious rebellious undergraduate who covers a shocking secret about an inclusive circle of students. Secret societies. Yay. I love that. Okay. Stand up. One more spin. Fingers crossed. It's the last one. Oh. Okay. Translated fiction. We can do that. It's going to take a little research on my part to figure out what book on my shelves fits that. But we can do that. So uh, let me just mark it and replace it. Alumna crate. Okay, I actually no longer have that. Yeah, let me take it out. I no longer have that uh, subscription. So let's pick again. Trash my TBR. <laughs> okay. That's fun. I haven't done one of those videos yet this year, but uh, we can do that. All right. So let me find a translated book and then I will be right back. Okay. That took a little bit longer than anticipated. I could not read a, or find a physical book because I have pretty much read the majority of the books that I had that were translations um, and I have not replenished that particular area of my physical TBR. Um, but I do have quite a few on my Kindle. Um, one of the books that I chose to read is called, uh, or at the book I chose for this prompt is called At the Edge of the Woods. It's written by... Um, so I'm going to look at my computer, uh, Mas Masatsugu Ono, so sorry if I butchered that, um, and it was translated by Juliet Winters Carpenter. This is a book that came out in 2022, or the translated version was, um, and it is a fairly short, short book, which is why I picked it, given the amount of books I have to read already. Um, it's about 169 pages or so, um, and it follows a family that moves into a house that is kind of isolated. It's on the edge of the woods, and strange things start to happen. That's all I know. That's all I needed to know to add it to my Kindle. And uh, yeah, that's the book I'm going to be reading. I'm actually really looking forward to that one. Um, and uh, that completes our Wheel of TBR. So, recap. I am reading for 
translate fiction, I'm reading uh, At the Edge of the Woods. For standalone, I am reading Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas, because to my knowledge, that is a standalone. For portal fantasy, I am reading The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. For odds, I am reading White Horse. And for historical fiction, I am reading Death of Jane Lawrence. This also counts for Buzz Wordathon for January. And also for um, new to me author for Read Your Shit. And for a witchy book, I am reading The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. This is also a buddy read with my friend Johanna. For pick two, y'all are gonna help me out here. I have a Café con Lichi and Head Full of Ghosts. Why a contemporary horror novel? You pick. And then, um, of course, my buddy read with Bestie, which is uh, yet another thriller, um, something in something, something, something woods. I can't remember the title of it, but that won't get here until mid-January. And then uh, also for um, start a new series for Read Your Shit is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, it may not look it, but that's a crap ton of reading that I have planned um, for uh, January. So if you have read, sorry, let me move myself. If you've read any of the books that I talked about here in this video, um, let me know your thoughts, hopefully non-spoilery, down in the comment section. Um, if, especially if you think I need to prioritize any of them over the others. A great big shout out going to my Patreons who are appearing on the screen as I speak. Thank you so much for your love and support in making this video possible. And thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe as you see fit. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!